Yo, my fellow and soon to be maniacs out there, it's your favorite webcomic creator and animator, The Chainsaw Maniac, and welcome back to another episode of this series, I guess, of Coffee and Chainsaws, where we just sit down, ramble, chill, you know, and I talk about uh, what has happened over the past week and what's going on so far, you know. So if you guys enjoy the content that I do and you would like to see more, I suggest you hit up that like button as well as subscribe and hitting that notification bell if you want to be notified of any other content that i do on this channel so first let's talk about the webtoon call to action contest that has just ended at least the submission period has ended which means you can't enter anymore this the submission period is done you right now it's the judging period as well as the silent manga edition contest their entry period is also done so you can't enter anymore over there so those are the two contests that i've entered i've been thinking more about the webtoon call to action contest i know there was a silent manga edition contest like i don't think i'll ever i don't think i'll actually win that contest although i've entered it and people will be checking out my work which is awesome um, i'm not sure if my work will be up as of right now but you can head over to the type in uh, silent manga audition and you can head on to the website and you can check out the entry maybe over there i'm not quite sure um i don't think you can actually check out the submission i think you will only be able to check it out once the whole thing is over i'm not quite sure but hopping back to the webtoon call to action contest there is um i've seen some things about it and specifically i've heard i think it was a hubcast done by webcomics hub he does like a podcast or i guess some sort of stream where he talks about webcomic stuff as, as well as webtoon stuff and you know dealing with many different you know stuff in the podcast as well but mainly as to do with webcomic media and influences and stuff like that so it was pretty cool you know i was listening in on it and you know i knew there was something sus about the webtoon call to action contest and he brought up various things about it that just made me think so i would recommend checking out that uh little podcast right there um very interesting and insightful on what actually is going on you know sitting down and thinking about it like the way webtoon has advertised this call to action contest i mean i would say it was dumb the way they were advertising it but i feel like there's more to it because it's not like up in front of your face which you would expect from you know if it was a giant contest we can win like up to 50 grand you know you would expect a, a contest where you can win up to like 50 grand to be up front and straight up in your face as well as you know advertising themselves um as much as they would because you know they hosting the contest and everything and it brings more page views to their site and everything so it was very interesting how they just didn't advertise it as well as you would think they would you know it was just like really weird the way they advertised it and that has always bothered me since day one of the contest now of course my goal has been met with the contest i've gained a lot of readers well at least a lot to me like over 100 readers that's fine you know i can i can work with that over 100 readers like over 400 likes a bunch of views page views for my comic and that's all i really want i just wanted to get some more eyes on my comics and from here you know i'll grow by myself because i've learned that if i consistently upload it will grow on its own and so this contest was really helpful for me in terms of just getting more eyes on my work and that's pretty cool but i don't know if i would want to win this contest because i don't know webtoon seems a bit shady and they're not telling us everything that's the one thing they're not telling us everything and it's it is like that you know with many corporations i think web comics the web comics app has also hit me up many of the editors you know they have you know hit me up for posting up on their site as well which is not the site isn't quite popular as well but you know the chances of me earning money or at least getting more page views on this it's more possible in a sense because also the the genre that i mean like the action the more dark genre you know of action and like i wouldn't say well i want to go like to the darker side of like action and you know exploring more ideas over there but obviously you can't do that on webtoon because if you go over a certain point you know you get your you know what like city of clones you know i got that sh they, they took that shit down it wasn't even that bad i don't even think it was that bad and like they were like nah nah it's too it's too much it's too much for the kids over here so i was like oh fuck well you know 
If it's too much, it's fine. I'll just find another platform that will be able to handle me, you know? So Delhi Hub is another good option. And so is Global Comics. But Global Comics seems to be more for a traditional type of comic base. So that's interesting. Uh, because moving forward, if I ever want to do like more manga based content definitely put it up on global comics because i feel like that will be the best platform to watch my work flourish because i don't think i can upload because i've recently seen on like some manga sites you have to be like japanese or something to actually upload on there like it's very weird like you have to be japanese or some form of asian whether it's korean or like you know i'm only part asian i barely know anything about asian culture so <laughs> so like i'm just sticking away from there you know english is what i what i dream i swear in you know so like that's my language and that's what i'm sticking with so so i post mostly on like english driven websites like where english is basically one of the main languages because i don't know how i would ever fare i mean that that means i would have to like pay a translator or something to translate my work and then put it up there and you know, it's just not worth it. So yeah, I'm pre there's plenty of other platforms that will, you know, host my work. Until I figure out a way to host my own website, you know, this is fine for me. I really enjoy it. I feel like if I have a bunch of cash, I have a bunch of uh, a big ass following, I think I would actually just create my own website you know and hosted myself you know because i know a little bit of like web design stuff um i have you know been like a web designer for like three months or something it wasn't actually that long but i do know a few things that i've picked up on the job so i could actually host my own site also my brother is quite good with coding so you know if you can help me out with that you know school i'll just figure things out you know or maybe i just get someone i hire someone just to you know host like to help me uh, set up my website and everything so you know either way it's it can be done but um that's only you know something that i'll do in the future and uh, something that i'll think about moving forward but for now i honestly that would only happen if i have like a really big fan base like it would be like pewdiepie numbers you know what i mean like it would have to be like insanely big for me to do that to make that jump not even that insanely big though maybe like just a mole if i hit a mole like uh, if i have a million followers you know and they enjoy the content that i make as well as they enjoy the comics that i make you know and they would actually sit down and read my comics that would actually work out quite well so yeah that's just you know that's a goal for the future but overall you know i don't want to really dive that deep into the comic sphere because you know i am an animator by heart i love animation animation's the way that i see things in you know it's kind of like my artistic language so to say you know i enjoy animation i know a lot about animation i've been in the industry for over six years now and you know it's pretty cool although i deal mostly with 3d animation like i've said before the principles of animation are still the principles of animation you know it's not going to leave your side if you switch over to 2d or 3d it's just a different type of workflow that you kind of have to get used to and so far working in blender with a grease pencil and figuring out the video various tools that I can use with the grease pencil I figured out many different ways that I can use it in a 2d animation and kind of just figuring out a way to kind of meld that into my animation workflow so coming up and I've mentioned this before there's a, another contest called the and if you check my previous video out where I talked about this um there's another contest coming out called the manga to short film contest where basically you will create a manga and the grand prize is like i think four thousand dollars as well as getting your entry animated into like a full short film so that's pretty cool i think a second prize is like you know two thousand and i think the third prize is like a thousand dollars so yeah it's, this is cash prices for those places as well but you know obviously i want to get number one because i want my shit animated but you know i'm not really that good at manga creation yet i'm still getting the hang of it i've really recently only created like one manga in my actual entire life i have uploaded it to the silent manga edition contest and you know once i posted it and i actually made it i didn't realize you can do this but once I made an account on the website and then posted my thing, I saw all the entries and I was like, damn, I'm not winning this contest. There's no way. There's too much awesome manga out there. Some of these guys are professional mangaka and I don't think my uh, manga really stands up to theirs. You know, they they have a good flow, a good sense of flow in terms of the manga, as well as uh, they know how to control the panel layout to make the thing flow much better. 
um they make very great use of the double page spread and you know it's just like it's a it's a whole new thing that i gotta learn and uh obviously this being my first manga entry you know i'm gonna be bad at it i'm gonna be bad at it you know it's, it's kind of like the first day of animation you know i sucked at it you gotta learn and you're, and you're gonna get better with time you know my art can be the best ever it doesn't really matter because manga isn't about the art specifically it's about it's more about telling the story using this specific format um and i'm not used to the format i don't know anything about it i don't know how you can um use or make flow the like the story flow using the panel layouts and everything i'm not used to that yet you know it's kind of like learning you know like i've learned a lot of ways to animate different ways to create shots and scenes and compositions to make things flow better as well as tell a story with that you see i'm pretty good at that because I, that's basically my, my job you know I set up comps as well and you know i animate stuff and i edit videos and stuff like that. that's just my job you know so more so in the, that sphere i think i will i wouldn't say i'm the best but i would be much better at it and more proficient than normal people you know and uh because of my just my years of experience of doing these things for a living you know every day i do it so it's just like it's just another day for me but i enjoy you know entering contests you know because it's just fun to work on different things and like also through these contests i've picked up some skills that i think I, that will benefit me in terms of my artistic style as well as certain things that i've picked up from other types of things like manga and like comics that i can actually utilize in my animations and i didn't realize this until i actually hopped in and did these things um even like things like you know for instance you guys know i hate i at least if you don't know yet i don't like painting you know painting is like i just don't like it you know um although i i do like certain aspects of it just overall painting i can't i can't handle it. especially like if it's traditional i just can't you know it's just it's just not my thing you know maybe if it was like an animation project and i had to paint the background or you know do something like that it would be different but yeah i just really don't enjoy it as much as i would animation or comics you know telling stories but that being said i've picked up a lot of things from painting even like the values and everything i've picked up from painting and contrast between certain things and you know i've picked up these like small things that i can actually use in my animations and stuff like that so so far it's been a quite a fun journey and you know the thing about me is i like learning i like learning different things you know and this is kind of how i work or how i've worked all these years and how i've benefited from many different things that i've done is i've taken things from different forms of like media or art and i found a way to kind of meld that into the thing that i am quite proficient at which is animation you know what i mean i've taken all the skills that wouldn't necessarily blend into animation i found a way to kind of meld it with my animation stuff and that's kind of what makes my style quite unique is i have a way of kind of taking things that doesn't belong in in certain areas and i can take them and i can kind of mold them to fit that type of mold if it's making sense to you you know what i mean it's, it's like i'm quite adaptable when it comes to my art style yeah it's pretty cool learning these different things because they actually benefit me in the main thing that i do which is animation but anyway moving forward as i was speaking about the manga to short film contest is and this is the thing that i wanted to say is i will actually be making an animation with this entry that i will be entering into the contest uh so even if i don't win i'm still getting an animation out of it and i will be animating it myself also it would be a good thing to display on like my like show reels and stuff like that so i think that will really benefit me in the future as well as future projects that i plan to do as well as working out the type of workflow that i will use moving forward in terms of animation and obviously there's not a lot of grease pencil blender you know animation sources so i'm glad to actually take this leap into that field and actually work stuff out for you guys and so if you guys ever wanted to animate in blender using the grease pencil tool i wouldn't mind actually just being a resource for you guys where you can actually check out my work and be like oh shit you, you can do that with the grease pencil okay cool i can use that with many other projects that i'm working on you know so that's pretty cool because i know out there is there's not a lot of grease pencil slash blender knowledge in terms of animation uh with the grease pencil and 2d animation in blender as of right now because it's still quite new okay it's it's not like like frame by frame animation isn't new but the way 
things can be used in Blender to make your life easier, you know, and make the project easier to handle and manage by a singular creator is actually something that I'm trying to like perfect and as well as put it out there to show that you don't need all the expensive equipment in the world. You don't need a team of animators. You just need to know or be proficient in like this one program, which can be utilized for many different things. And you can actually use this one program that's free to actually create like your dream project. Um, that's another thing also moving forward with this project is I don't want to use Premiere. I don't want to use After Effects. I want to actually comp my stuff in Blender. Blender's comping isn't actually that good from my previous experience, although it, although it has had a, quite an update. So we can just see exactly how that works. Obviously there is a time limit on when I want this animation done. So I actually set myself a deadline that I would like to meet. Although I have set a second deadline and if I don't meet this one, I would definitely have to hit this one over here. Moving forward, um, it's going to be very cool to test the waters and see how far we can really push Blender and what are its actual limits or is it actually limitless in its potential and I believe it's quite limitless in the sense of uh, animation and what you can use this thing for you know I've heard talks around the industry you know no one's using Maya anymore Maya has been thrown out the window because it's so grandpa technology so <laughs> everyone's actually switching over now to Blender um, from what I've seen at least in the South African animation industry I'm not sure about any other industry because it's actually it's actually saving you money you know if you actually just use Blender because you're not paying for any additional things you know so if a company can adapt Blender into their workflow it saves them cost you know they can all put that cost into something else like maybe the hardware equipment stuff like that obviously blender can't do everything well you know they it does have its weak uh aspects to it you know i mean it's pretty hard to create one program it's proficient in everything it's just not going to be that way especially you know what it's tailored for blender's tailored for animation you know i use it for comics because i'm insane and you know i found a way to make it work for my comics and the main reason i use it for my comics as well is getting used to the grease pencil tool because i want to get used to it and i want to use it for my animations obviously so if i can perfect a way to draw or use a blender with my 2d stuff quite well you know i get used to the brush settings and everything like that you know obviously moving forward when it comes to animating and setting up compositions and actually you know frame by frame animating things you know it's gonna make things much easier for me so yeah after these two contests that i've done it's feel like there's it feels like there's a giant weight just lifted off my back because i've finished two major contests although the call to action honestly was quite lightweight like i didn't really feel anything <laughs> when I did the contest because I had so much freaking time, you know, <laughs> I had like two months, which like, and even then I could have finished it in like two weeks. I took like a month to finish it. Um, but just because I took my time, I didn't like, you know, I didn't like really worry too much about it. Uh, I ended up editing some episodes later on because my art improved after I released a second entry and I realized that was pretty dumb of me to release that second entry. However, it did help me improve and increase my art level so you know it's not really inefficient as i thought it would be to release a second entry so that's fine you know so moving forward webtoon is definitely gonna have more contests um many other webcomic platforms are definitely gonna have more contests many other manga contests will come out and i'm also on the hunt for a short film contest so it's gonna be really fun you know and i think that's the most important thing um recently indie burner released a video talking about letting go like of certain things and uh how the, the trouble she has with like the constant criticism and everything that's happening with the contest and you know like i've said you, you gotta have fun with these things and you know she's she's an awesome creator i wish you all the best and yeah i mean her work is quite doing quite well in the contest the uh, entry so you know i'm looking forward to actually seeing what the judges say for our works you know we all did an amazing job um we all put like a lot of work and effort into this contest like i just hope they don't you know really cheat us out of a win because i would be i would be a bit irritated if a entry wins that is not even action based you know it's some, some sort of a romance or something and i mean that will just make webtoon look really sus because then that means they were looking for something else when they made this contest 
or they had other motives in mind or they just were dumb uh, because also you know i don't know who's gonna be judging this contest because like the parameters for the contest was also quite weird you know like they wanted they wanted us to make an action entry wasn't like long enough you know i feel like the series would have been it would have been better to actually make it like a three episode entry where you can actually build up your fight in the first few episodes and get straight to the fight then you know but it's it's fine you know they did they they put the parameters up they they just basically said this is what they wanted and i hope they've judged the contest based on the criteria they set as well as there's no actual like biases you know you know there will always be biases but i hope there's no biases in the sense that you know like like someone who likes romance is judging our comics i hope the judges that we have is actually action based judges like people who really enjoy action those are the judges you know i want them to be a variety of action based judges that's basically what i'm trying to say i hope it's not like a romance author judging my action shit you know i just hope i hope this is like you know but at the end of the day like i don't really give a shit if i win or not but i'm, I'm just saying like you know if we i guess i'm just projecting the other artists who have just entered this contest and they you know put everything into this contest you know they and they really want to be like a webtoons original or something like that and i want the best for them and i hope they don't get stepped on my webtoon but you know webtoon be stepping you know they 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 be stepping they uh you know they they giant corporation in that giant corporations be you know so yeah all i'm saying is my message out there to everyone who has entered this contest don't get hurt if you don't win that just means you weren't good enough by their standards and i think this is what all artists have to keep in mind like webtoon standards aren't really that good like to be honest with you like uh there's, there's some good artists in webtoon don't get me wrong but like what are they looking for like they're never clear about shit you know what i'm saying so don't get hurt if you don't win because that just means that you weren't good by their standards you know and their standards aren't the best standards anyway so i mean if you are proud of your work you know that's all you need you know you're proud of your work proud of the effort you put in you know you did what you did and you move on you move on to another contest or whatever you know whatever work on yourself work on your brand work on what you want to promote work on what you want to put out there as an artist no don't worry about these guys over here you know doing all the the, the sleazy corporate stuff over here you know just don't don't look at them look away you know they all they are good for is just promoting your work that's all they're good for really instead of them using you you know find ways to use them that's what i do giant corporations i enter into those corporations or i work with those corporations and i only work with them to benefit myself if a giant corporation like that doesn't benefit me at all like i will not work with them in any capacity like i just won't <laughs> work with it like what is the point you know what i mean like what is the point what am i gonna get out of this nothing okay cool i'm moving on see the, the thing about webtoon is like i'm actually getting eyes on my work through them so i'm using them and once uh webtoon fucks up you know once they fuck up because they will oh all companies do once they fuck up there's gonna come another webcomic company obviously right that's how it works you know you know once the big old giant falls you know another one arises and basically i'll be doing the same with them as i'm doing with webtoon right here just just taking everything i can get from them and then moving on to the next big corporation because you know i don't owe them shit and by the way i'm not like throwing shade at the people who work at webtoon no that's not what i'm doing like because i know they are probably great artists who work there they are great people like editors and you know um managers and whatever you know whatever the corporate structure is over there there's people working under these pieces of shit right on top right who's working there you know get it like working their asses off so i, I will never like you'll you'll never find me saying boycott this or boycott that like i will never say that you know because there are people in there there's people in there who have jobs who have lives and they have mouths to feed so you know obviously i think the best way to actually support these artists is actually just support them more you know go to their Kofi, you know go to their i wouldn't suggest going to patreon i think Kofi is the best option you know if they have a Kofi, you know hit them up you know get over the Kofi, throw some cash away if you really like them if you really enjoy the content you know boy what a tangent we went on over here i don't know how i got here but you know that's just what this thing is about this video you know i just sit down here i talk i talk about whatever's on my mind you know it just is what it is and hopefully i get you guys through some work you know maybe you're working on some panels you're grinding through some some comic panels right over there you're working on something and hopefully this got you through that you know if you enjoyed this video this is your second reminder to hit up that like button 
you know go ahead and subscribe and support me if you enjoy my content as well as ring that notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye now